the 2022 Seattle Mariners. I mean, what more can I say about this team that hasn't already been said a million times before? I just got back from T-Mobile Park. I just got back from watching Julio Rodriguez and Eugenio Suarez walk off the reigning World Series champion Atlanta Braves. And I feel like we kind of all know by now that the Mariners are in this thing. The Mariners are contending. The Mariners are here for the long haul. But that game, the last game of the Atlanta Braves series, oh my goodness. Nothing in the history of the Mariners franchise has it felt quite like that. I read somewhere that the base hit that Mitch Haniger had on the 3rd of October last year against the Angels signified the end of the rebuilding era in Seattle. Whoever tweeted this is an absolute genius and they went on to say that this hit from Gino in the bottom of the ninth inning against the Braves signifies the beginning of a long dynasty of contention with the Seattle Mariners. And I agree, man. With over 45,000 fans in the stands, the Mariners were down to their final outs. They gave up five freaking runs in the top of the ninth inning and still found a way to come back and win. That is what championship ball clubs do. That is what a team that is primed for the postseason does. And you could argue that the Atlanta Braves are better this year than they were last year, and yet the Mariners found a way to take two of three against the reigning World Series champs. The way this team is constructed, it just, I don't think I have ever seen a Mariners team where every single player on the team is as lovable as these guys are. I mean, come on, we've been through the Sean Figgins era. We were all here watching Mike Morse return to the Seattle Mariners and be just not very good. The lean years of Eric Bedard taking the mound as our ace every week. We deserve the damn thing. And as Mariners fans, I know that this specifically is where we've had our hearts broken a million times before. But you know what? This team is different, man. We have a massive lead right now on the Orioles for a wildcard position. With just 22 games left to play, the Mariners basically have a seven game lead on the Baltimore Orioles, nearly locking them in for the playoffs. I don't wanna say it's guaranteed, but there's a really, really good chance they're gonna make it. For all the crap that the Mariners and the Mariners fans have been through over the past two decades, I can understand why a lot of fans are pessimistic, why a lot of fans are just grumpy on the internet, why a lot of fans are tweeting at Jen Mueller or Shannon Dreyer and talking about Jesse Winker popping up three times in the infield. And again, I don't blame you, but if I'm being honest with you, let yourself enjoy this. Honest to God, let yourself just take in for a moment that the Mariners are gonna do the thing. The Mariners are going to make the playoffs this year. I'm all but sure of it. This team, this season is all culminating to make up for the last 20 years of Mariners baseball that we've had to suffer through since the last time this team made the playoffs. So just for a minute, stop looking at the bad. Just for a minute, look at this team and this record and appreciate every single one of those guys going out there every single day and appreciate that you're here to see this happen. I get it, man. I 100% understand the pessimism that is coming from Mariners fans right now. The Mariners fans where every time the Mariners lose, it's the end of the world. And honestly, I'm right there too sometimes. But if you really take a step back and look at this season and this team as a whole, guys, we're having a hell of a lot of fun right now. Hey. I just want to say to you guys that we're here, we're here to compete. Thank you for showing out, thank you for coming to the field. This was an amazing game, but it couldn't be done without you guys. Thank you so much and keep showing love. Keep showing love, we deeply appreciate it. Look at that! Look at that! Look at that! Keep showing out. And to just think for a moment that we may be there when the Mariners finally break their 20 year playoff drought, it's just a dream come true, man. The last time the Mariners made the playoffs, I was five years old. In 2001, I was five. I don't remember it. I straight up do not remember a single thing from the Mariners playoffs in 2001. I do not have a single memory of the Seattle Mariners making the playoffs. But if this is what it feels like, A, I'm probably gonna need to start taking some blood pressure medication because my God, that game against the Braves really put me through the roof. But B, this is really, really damn special for this city. And if you don't take a moment to realize what's going on and to take it all in and to appreciate what's happening with this team right now, I think that you're really going to regret it. I honestly think that you're going to look back on this year and be like, man, I really should have seen that team for what they were. I should have appreciated what that team was doing on the field day in and day out in the community for this city. Just 
please, for just a moment, get rid of the Mariners PTSD. And there's only like 20 something games left in this season. So if you could just for a moment, at least the rest of the season, let yourself enjoy this ride. No matter what happens in the playoffs this year, this season is 100% a win for the Mariners. Whether they're knocked out in the wild card round or they win the whole thing, man, I just, I have never felt anything quite like this for the Seattle Mariners in my lifetime. And I've talked a lot about that Brave series, and if you want to catch up on what happened in that Brave series, go ahead and check out this video on the screen now, including some fire, absolute gas comments from our boy Joe. I appreciate you guys checking out this video. Let's make this thing happen, and go Mariners!